Okay, this is going to be our final video on our network overview. And in this video, we're going to cover virtualization. Although not necessary for networking, it's a tool that's frequently employed to get the most out of our hardware and our network configuration. So what is virtualization? It is a method, a software method of creating a virtual rather than another real version of something that could include a computer hardware, a PC machine, making a virtual second machine, and that could be storage devices, it could be computer network resources. Typically when people are talking about virtualization, they're talking about making a virtual machine which allows uh, segmentation of software onto the virtual machine and the possibility to run a second operating system. So here in the picture down below lower right we see a traditional architecture, a box with its operating system and the application running on it. When we install virtual software we actually have the possibility of emulating or making a virtual machine with additional operating systems. So each virtual machine has its own operating system and its own applications. And uh, therefore we can segment applications out. We can have multiple operating systems of different types. And that's all controlled through software through virtualization. Uh, some of the major software providers for virtualization would be Oracle VM VirtualBox. I've actually ran this on my machine for years um, to have a machine dedicated to Rockwell software. Uh, VMware is one of the early providers and one of the most popular. Microsoft also has virtualization software called Hyper-V and there are many others. So, um, again, the common usage of the term virtualization would mean we want to create a virtual machine. Here we have virtual machine one and virtual machine two on one box, one uh, hardware box, one PC, um, and it's a software that allows us to install virtualization and emulate one or more additional machines. Here we would have the base machine and two more virtual machines so we might have three operating systems or three different operating systems with multiple applications on each machine. So here we see the desktop of a standard machine, a Windows based machine, and what's happening is the um, virtual software is booting, in this case Oracle VM Virtual Box. And we can see here's our, mach our real machine desktop, a Windows operating system, and the virtual machine, the software virtual machine, is booting another operating system and we can see it's booting XP. Windows XP is no longer available so this is one way that we could maintain older applications by having a virtual image which would run our operating system of choice in this case uh, XP and uh, we wouldn't have to abandon those applications we'd be able to continue to support them through a virtual image running uh, in this case XP and you can see XP is beginning to boot. Uh, when it boots it appears like a whole nother machine. It has its own software, it has its own applications, it has its own configuration for the IP uh, port for the um, network manager um, port management and it has its own desktop. It would have its own users. It uh, and for all intents and purposes appears like a, another machine, but we can hotkey between the base machine and the virtual machine and we can have different things going on in each. 
So some of the advantages I've already mentioned, here's a little summary. Uh, one reason I use virtualization is Rockwell software is very invasive. It kind of takes over your box and I don't certainly don't want that on my corporate image. In this case, Grand Valley's image. IT department wouldn't like it. They don't want to support it. They don't want uh, to deal with the changes that it might make to some of the uh, drivers or configuration um, settings. And so this is a way to keep them totally separate. Run a virtual image and then install your Rockwell software on the virtual image. It also, as I mentioned, allow you to support older operating systems since you can install those operating systems on the virtual image. Uh, support multiple operating systems so each image could have a different operating system. Maybe you need to do some work in Windows and some in Linux and some in XP and some in something else. So um, it also would allow you to have a different IP address for your base machine as for your virtual machine. So in the case of working with uh, Rockwell devices, I want to have a static IP address. I might do that in my virtual machine if that's where my Rockwell software is. But on my base machine, I could still be connected through the DHCP server to whatever IP address it handed out to me in the corporate world. It also would allow me to consolidate physical servers. So instead of having multiple hardware servers, maybe I can get the job done with uh, virtual servers on one machine, which would, of course, reduce hardware cost and assist me in managing my network as I simplify it without having multiple boxes. Here's another summary of advantages of virtualization. Um, standardize the hardware, less complex, very flexible. Reduce power usage because I have one machine instead of many physical machines, which would allow for lower capital expenditures, lower operating costs, less energy used. Uh, a good way to test new applications, you can actually make a snapshot of your virtual image at any time and restore it. So if things go awry, you can just uh, st restore to a snapshot you did previously. This makes testing very low risk. It reduces the time to market, the TTM, time to market. And um, it makes it very open to uh, many software suppliers to try stuff out. And yet another summary, great cost savings. Uh, it does allow you to utilize all the capabilities of your server rather than having it un underutilized. Very high avail availability, zero downtime failover, high performance, best performance, unmatched reliability, superior security, lowest task, total cost of ownership, TCO total cost of ownership, and the fastest, fastest easiest uh, way to manage the system. So that's uh, what we have on virtualization. And then that does complete our video service, video series rather, on, on a network, um, networking overview.